Hi, it's Dr. Kevin, author of The Hypothyroid Diet, and today I'm going to bring you a very important video because we're going to cover some of the common mistakes made when treating hypothyroidism. In fact, there are five of the biggest mistakes of hypothyroidism treatment made by a lot of physicians. You know, I feel very sorry for a lot of these patients that come walking through my door that have been to physician after physician looking for a solution to their problem. And I, I kind of see a theme, a common theme among all these patients, and that's these five biggest mistakes. And the first biggest mistake is that a lot of physicians just test the TSH looking for hypothyroidism. And I think that's why it's mistreated, underdiagnosed, and misdiagnosed. So that's one of the biggest problems, the biggest mistakes when treating hypothyroidism is just looking at the TSH. There are a number of different tests that you could also include in this blood panel, T3, T4. You can look at thyroid antibodies and another test that we'll cover as we go down this list here. The second biggest problem is a lot of physicians just treat with one pill. They have one prescription that they use. It's their go-to prescription and they give it to their patients expecting it to work a miracle. Well, it doesn't and most of the time it doesn't work. The nice thing is they have options. They have glandulars that they can try that a lot of patients do very, very well with. And unfortunately, I don't see a lot of that. So another big mistake. Number three, not treating the immune system. You know, one of the biggest causes of hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And that's an immune system problem. And if you're not treating the immune system, patients will still have symptoms. It's okay if you want to go ahead and treat them with hormone replacement, but the immune system also has to be treated, so another big mistake. Talking about testing at TSH, there's another test that I think physicians can do to rule out adrenal fatigue. That's an at-home test that you can do. It's a saliva test, very easy to do. Because what happens is if you're treating hypothyroidism and they have an underlying cause of adrenal fatigue, the pill isn't going to help. In fact, the symptoms are going to come back with a vengeance and you'll be worse off than you were before. So another big problem is not looking at the adrenal glands. Lastly, not addressing the environment. Not addressing the environment is a big problem because there are things in our environment through the water we drink and shower in, to the air we breathe, to the chemicals we may be smelling, and the food that we're eating that can really dis disrupt the hormonal system. You know, we talked about a lot of these halogens that are in our environment, they're in our water. So if we filter the water, if we filter the air, that's a good step in the right direction. There are dioxins and phthalates and plasticizers that also disrupt the hormonal system. And even estrogen, too much estrogen causes a problem of conversion from T4 to T3. So the environment is huge, it's a big problem. So these are some of the biggest mistakes that I see when treating hypothyroidism. Take a look at them, you can talk to your physician about them or start educating yourself on what you can do to help your hypothyroidism. So anyway, I hope this served you well. Until next time, eat well and be well.